Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In our spiritual journey, nothing compares to the search for creativity and the exploration of deep passions within our souls. Today, we will delve into the profound insights of Carl Jung, a great psychologist, to inspire and propel us further on the path of self-awareness and personal growth. The quotes from Jung are not just words, but deep emotions, discoveries about ourselves and the world around us. Each quote provides us with a new opportunity for reflection and development. So as you watch this video, open your mind and let the love and creativity of Carl Jung resonate deeply within your thoughts. If you recognize any quotes that we haven't discussed, please share your thoughts in the comments below. Your contribution will be an encouragement and inspiration to our community. Let's explore and share our creativity and spirits together, aiming for a meaningful and inspiring life. Thank you for joining and now let's begin our journey. Every human life contains potential and if that potential is not realized, then that life is wasted. The most frightening thing is to fully accept oneself. The privilege of a lifetime is to become who you truly are. When an inner situation is not made conscious, it appears outside as fate. People will do anything, no matter how absurd, to avoid facing their own souls. Where love rules, there is no will to power, and where power predominates, their love is lacking. The one is the shadow of the other. A man who has not passed through the inferno of his passions never overcomes them. We cannot change anything until we accept it. Life really does begin at 40. Up until then you are just doing research. Thinking is difficult. That's why most people judge. To be better, good must stand aside. Shame is an emotion that corrodes the soul. One speaks in primitive images. One speaks in a thousand tongues. Within each of us is another whom we do not know. The ability to engage in inner dialogue is a criterion for objective thought outside. The creative process is a living being grafted onto the human soul. Feeling tells us something is. Think for us what this thing is. Feeling tells us what this thing means to us. Neurosis is always a substitute for legitimate suffering. The larger the crowd, the less individual responsibility. No one can transform himself into anything solely through reason. He can only change into what he can become. A creative man is hardly ever understood by those around him. He is not free. He is bound and controlled by his own daimon. We think of happy people as those who from life's experience have learned to endure illness without being overcome by them. If you have nothing to create, you may be creating yourself. What we do not confront in ourselves, we will meet as fate. Nothing affects the psyche more strongly than the environment, and especially the lives not lived by the parents of their children. I will not be guilty of the fashionable foolishness of considering everything I cannot explain as a fraud. All spiritual progress of mean comes from the suffering of the soul. The best political, social and spiritual work we can do is to remove the projection of our own shadows onto others. We are not what happened to us, we are what we wish to become. Your vision will become clear only when you can look into your own heart. Who looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakes. The first half of life is devoted to forming a healthy ego. The second half 
as going inward and letting go of it. Ott is said that no tree can reach to heaven unless its roots reach down to hell. As far as we can discern, the sole purpose of human existence is to kindle a light in the darkness of mere being. Integrity is not achieved by cutting off a part of oneself, but by integrating conflicting parts. I cannot say I believe I know. I have experienced being gripped by something stronger than myself, something people call God. When I was young, I felt lonely, and I still do, because I know so much and have to hint at things that others seem to know nothing about and don't want to know about. If there is anything we want to change in the child, we should first examine it and see whether it is not something that could better be changed in ourselves. Attaining wholeness demands that we gamble with our entire being. Nothing less will do. There can be no easy conditions, no substitutes, no compromises. The spirit is the life of the body seen from within, and the body is the outward manifestation of the life of the spirit. The two are truly one. Though they speak softly of the greatest progress and happiness that can be achieved, forgetting that happiness itself will be poisoned if the level of suffering is not met. Flights into space are but an escape. A flight from oneself for going to Mars or to the moon is easier than going into one's own being. When you lean against a wall, root yourself like a tree until clarity comes from deeper sources to see through that wall and grow beyond it. Loneliness comes not from having no one around, but from being unable to communicate the things that seem important to oneself or from holding certain views that others find unacceptable. One of the hardest tasks a man can undertake, no matter how others may scoff at it, is inventing games. In such questionable matters, when you have to act as a pioneer, you must be able to trust your intuition and follow your instincts, even when there's a risk of error. No one should deny the danger of descending, but it can be risky. No one needs to take risks, but surely someone will do it and let those who follow the path of dusk do it with wide open eyes, for it is a sacrifice that even the gods would be dismayed at. However, after each descent is an ascent. Portion certainly has its role, but we cannot deny our support for a serious risky endeavour that challenges the entire personality. If we oppose that, we are trying to suppress the best in a person, his boldness and his aspiration. And if we succeed, we should only obstruct the invaluable experiences that can give meaning to life. As we come to the end of our exploration of Carl Jung's profound insights, may we carry the flame of inspiration and self-discovery with us on our journey forward. Let us embrace our potential, accept ourselves fully, and strive to become who we truly are. Remember, each quote is a beacon of wisdom, guiding us towards a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Let us continue to engage in inner dialogue, integrate conflicting parts, and kindle a light in the darkness of mere being. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. If you found value in today's discussion, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more inspirational content. Together, let's continue to grow, learn, and inspire others along the way. Until next time, keep exploring, keep discovering, and keep evolving. Thank you, and may your path be filled with light and meaning.